All right, I'll give you a couple painting tips. Uh, if you're an experienced painter, you probably already know all this, but the guys that are new to this, I'll uh, give you some help. Uh, you see right here, I've sanded this, but right down through here, there's still a shiny line. That's uh, where you can't get up against that rubber. So here's what we do. Pull the rubber back. That's a 320 grit paper. And it's that simple. The rubber actually acts as a pressure uh, that holds the sandpaper down against the material or the surface. So uh, that's uh, one way of doing it. I'm sure there's a dozen more, but that's how I do it. And I will do that until there's no longer a shiny spot there. Like that. See on up there, it's shiny right against the rubber. There it's not. So this is ready to paint. And if you don't do that, your paint will flake off right here at the edge, just like it did up here at this edge. So I want to mask off from here, down around here, the back window, down the door edge, and I'm gonna paint the back of the truck and up to those lines. I'm just gonna take the red and spray on it and maybe mix a little clear in it. All I'm trying to do is get it red so when I do go to paint the rest of the truck, it's already color there. Um, this is gonna be, all this bitching and complaining about how this was done on the back, um, it really is pointless because the toolboxes will probably be at least this high. I mean, there's a, there's gonna be a wave right here, I promise you, on both sides. And, you know, this is not the straightest thing in the world, the back of that cab corner. But I don't care, because you're not gonna see it. Uh, the point is, uh, shabby work is shabby work. And uh, that's that's why the, the complaint. But anyway, we'll finish sanding it, we'll mask that off. The second paint tip I wanna give you is, right before you paint, you always wipe the surface down. Well, I'm telling you to do that twice. <clears throat> first of all, uh, the first thing you should wipe off is everywhere you're going to put masking tape. Um, this rubber around these windows have a film that gets on them. Some people, when they wax the truck or whatever, they get stuff on them. So everywhere you plan on masking, around these vents, uh, everywhere that the masking tape is going to have to adhere, go ahead. Blow the thing, blow the surface off, blow everything off, clean as you can get it, and take you some lacquer thinner or uh, acetone or prep saw, whatever, sure will clean, whatever you, what do you like? Um, I've seen, and I have, used rubbing alcohol uh, straight from the drugstore. It works just fine. All you're trying to do is degrease that so you don't have any blowouts with your masking tape. And uh, that's, uh, you'd be surprised. You go to a body shop where they, supposedly are professionals and you'll see that they're out there cleaning out blowouts um, but anyway um, it's just a couple tips for guys that are you know fairly new to this uh, old timer body men's already going to know that I'm sure but uh thought I'd throw that out there so we're getting ready to mask this off wipe it down mask it off it's you know pretty well sanded down got a few spots to catch up on and uh and be ready to spray and i'm just going to spray it outside here like i said this piece of shit is not going to be a show truck uh if it was we went about this from from the beginning a whole different method so uh presentable and protective of the surface so it doesn't rust is what we're after um once we get the back done uh that back of that cab painted then i can go ahead and build the body right up against it not have to worry about trying to squirt red paint down in there so that's why we're doing it now. It seems like it's kind of out of out of order, out of priority, but that's that's what we're doing it now. And uh, it's it's kind of trust me. You put a a bed on there and try and paint the bed and the cab red, and can't get paint down in there. It's an eyesore when you, especially if the truck was white or green or blue or whatever, and you paint that truck red. You look in there and see that it just looks like crap. Uh, now's the time to do it. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Uh, I hope those little tips help you. Um, I've done this crap for years, so if I can uh, if I can add to someone's uh, level of uh, expertise with a few comments, I'd be glad to do so. So, all right, have a good day. Like and subscribe if you can.